Hello and welcome to the TV room. David Bradley here. I've had a bit of an epiphany about this, the strange things going on with this pet. And, and uh, you see the directory, it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't. And of course, I had thought that I had damaged in the torture testing the 4040 drive. But in actual fact, after connecting to a different drive, you're running different cables, it's, and then also hooking another pet up to the same drive and drives with the same cables, the directory comes up fine. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I have seen something like this before. I have. But I could not quite figure out what and when and how and where and what could it possibly be. And of course the answer is, well, I... I've seen something like this, but not like this, if that makes any sense. And what do I mean by that? Well, the directory is obviously coming up incorrectly. So thinking way, 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 way back when I used to copy a whole bunch of disks with a whole bunch of disk drives and things, I would often do a catalog or directory command at the end to see what was what. And uh, if you're doing all the same disks, everything was fine. But if you were doing different disks, the... Um, the drives all hooked up connected together would read the directory just fine but when different disks were in there it would get scrambled some so that then uh you would you know you'd probably see that everything was fine the directories were fine but you really couldn't see for sure that they were fine so oftentimes of course what we would do is say there were four or five drives hooked up is you know open most of the drives do a catalog to do the one and then, you know, open, close, open, close, check them all, everything is fine. So this is looking like there's more than one 4040 or disk drive connected to this pet. That's what it looks like, and with, but with different disks in the drive so that everything's getting scrambled. The other thing that this does, which I will show you, is if I go to print DS dollar sign, which is the disk status, where the computer runs off and says to the pet, yo, what up with you? Behold what happens. It prints this weird stuff up at the top of the screen. And that is exactly what happens when two or three or four or whatever drives are connected to a pet and you put in a print DS dollar sign for the disk status. And it gets confused and it freezes up. And I'm not sure if there's any way to get out of it. And as there is not, I think I will tweak this a little bit and zoom in on it so you can see the weirdness of what is happening here. So that is what's what. It is. So, I am thinking, I am that it is quite possible. Hang on, I'm just reaching for the goo gone rag. That there is a subtle failure among a chip within this pit. Now, if you have been watching, you know that I swapped a whole lot of chips into this machine. Why did I do that? Well, because I could. Because the other machine had lots of things in sockets. And right now I'm just... I've got the goo rag here. And I'm just cleaning off the tops of the chips that came out of here so I can make sure that I have a nice look at them. Because this stuff, this... Like this one chip here. Like... I don't know if you can see this. I'll try. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. I'll come in here. Like, oh, it's not focusing on that at all. Hang on. Hello. Okay. It's filthy. It's dirty. I can barely read it. But if I give it a quick rub with Goo Gone. I can see it's a 901456-22, made in the 30th week of 1980. 
I don't know if this is going to look any better when I come in here, but I'll try. Probably not. Uh, no, not really. The screen is pretty much staying in focus. Anyway. Um, yes, Gugon has other applications. Mind you, you don't want it to rub everything off the chip so you can't read it. But it does have a good tendency to get rid of dust. It does. It does indeed. So these are mostly round chips I'm looking at here. But they are not the cause of the trouble. So anyway, if you are out there and you have any clues, that would be great. I believe what's probably about to happen is that this board is going to come out and... There are two 6522 chips, and I am not sure which would be the one, because they handle input-output things, and I'm not sure which one does which, but there are two of them. So I'm thinking one of them has suffered a subtle failure. I'm thinking. So, producing this squirrely result that it looks like it's... Um, not helping. I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to turn it on. Okay. So there's the pet. It's looking pretty happy. We'll put it in a catalog and we'll say go to 10. And we'll run. And we'll run. What do I just do? Oh. Yeah, when you hit the shift key, it doesn't do anything. So it will print the directory over and over and over and over and over. The drive will spin and everything will be fine. So this machine, I believe, needs surgery. This is the 40th pet. It is. The 41st pet still needs surgery. It does. Anyway. So that is where we're at. And indeed, it is good to torture things to see. Because as I... I say, I, you know, if I'm going to be um, sending things like this to other people um, or having them pick them up when I start to sell things, um, I certainly want to make sure that I know as best as I can that they are fine. I'm just using my Goo Gone on the front thing of the, the name thing, sorry where it says Commodore Pet, and boy, it really makes it glisten. It's quite nice, I think. Did I get a little residue there? Or maybe there was residue there. I just don't know. Anyway. Yes. A dirty pet will work. Just as well as a clean one, but a clean one will fetch more money, especially like if someone's going to use it, that's great, but also if someone's going to put it on display, like in their office or somewhere, um, they like things to look pretty, 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 even though these machines have, in many cases, they were in schools and they lived a hard life. So, anyway. So, I believe it is 65.22 time, I believe. But if you see this and have any suggestions, uh, please, please write to me. That would be greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. So, as I said, in case you're thinking, okay, change the cable, or there's something in the drive, or use a different disc, or whatever. I have tried different discs. I have tried different cables. I've tried a different disc drive. I have tried everything and that's the whole thing about troubleshooting. Isolate the problem. Isolate the problem. And I have isolated it into this computer. And after swapping out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chips, including the screen RAM chips, I have come to believe it's a 6522 issue. And why did I swap out all those chips? Well, because they were socketed and I could. And, uh, in case it was one of those, I would feel silly about 
cranking up all the irons and pulling things out and then finding out that, gee, if I'd just taken that chip that was already in the socket out, it would have been fine. So, that is where we're at here in the TV room. So thanks for coming. Have a lovely, lovely day. David Bradley, signing off. Bye for now.